My current project is building a low distortion uh, pair of sine waves for testing amplifiers. The sort of figures I'm looking for are minus 60 dB total harmonic and noise. Uh, if you're testing amplifiers with those sort of performance specifications you do, you require the signal generator or test equipment to be better than the amplifiers you're testing. In this design I'm using some LM358 buffer chips on the output of these DDS AD9833 sine wave generators. The op amps I decided to use are LM358s which are a common op amp which I've used in many projects. These are the uh, LM358s I purchased from a local supplier and I put them in the circuit and started doing some testing and I discovered that the distortion from these particular chips was around 1% or minus 40 dB. So to show you the distortion in that particular op amp I've got a little test set up here which has an LM358 in one channel and an LM833 in the other channel. The LM833 is a FET op amp and has quoted distortion figures of around 0.02% which is very low around the minus uh, 60 dB mark. This little uh, test setup uh, is, uh, consists of a, a couple of ad 9833s driven by a Nano. Uh, there's a closer view of the Nano and the little display here that I've got and there's a, a little the knob here that I can vary the frequency on F1 and also the frequency on F2. There are two, two frequencies coming out of this test setup. So here is a view of the um, oscilloscope uh, channel 1 the yellow trace is the LM358 which is not performing very well and the blue trace is the LF, LM833. As you can see here you can see a little bit of distortion on that particular channel so I'll zoom in on there. Now that distortion is not level dependent. I can vary the input level up and down and it makes no difference to the amount of distortion that uh, is getting produced so it's not something that's happening as a result of level as you can see I'm dropping the level you'll still see the distortion in that bottom in the negative bit of the trace quite bad it measures around about one percent I'll show you the um, spectrum of that so there you see the spectrum this is the um, it's 1.8 kcs that's the second harmonic, third harmonic and so on and you can see it's only 40 dB down. That's around 1% distortion. So I've expanded the trace a little bit. That's uh, the, the LM358 and I can just switch to the other channel and that is the LM833. You can see now we're looking at least 60 dB down. There's a little bit of there. I've just expanded the trace out a little bit. So you can see a bit of the second harmonic and we're looking at uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, around 60 dB. That is actually the performance specification of the AD9833 by the way, uh, around about that, that sort of figure. Total harmonic noise and distortion around minus 60 and carrier uh, noise, noise around the carrier minus 66. Those chips will go up to 12.5 megs by the way, but I'm using them simply as audio test generators. Two-tone, in fact, test generators. So I will now give you a look at the markings on this uh, particular LM358. And there's also here an NEC LM358. Now it turns out that the NEC358 is minus 60 dB. It's only this particular chip. These chips were purchased locally and I suspect they come from some overseas supplier. Clearly there's a, a quality problem with the input stage or some part of the op amp but they certainly are not up to spec. I should also add for those that are uh, engineers that have used op amps that the distortion of an op amp is also dependent on the source resistance and if the source resistance is low enough the distortion goes down. However I've gone through all of those uh, tests and this op, these op amps don't change with the source resistance effectively. They still distort. So there was no cure by changing the design. So there's a closer look of the packaging. It shows a sort of a Texas Instrument um, logo, but I, I don't know. It doesn't look uh, quite right to me. 
And now I'll show you the, the top of the um, NEC LM358. So there's the top of the um, NEC chip. There's a, a bit more of a look at it. You can just make out the markings on it. It's, uh, the printing is very faint on this particular chip. Uh, here's some others that I've got uh, on a little pack here. That one works alright. The, um, the others work alright. It's just that batch that I got from um, 50, uh, 30 off from local supplier. Normally I don't have that sort of problem with these sort of chips but um, I just thought I'd do this little video just to show you that if you um, if you think you're uh, getting some really good chips you, you might want to check the performance particularly if you're looking for things like distortion. It's uh, quite unusual to find uh, that sort of issue. Well thank you for watching that's the end of the video. This is just one example of some of the poor quality semiconductors that you can uh, purchase uh, from unknown sources.